Hey everyone, this is DJ. How would you like to increase your storage space of your Fire TV stick up to 500 megs with just a few clicks? All this can be done in under a minute, and I will show you how right after this. As you may already know, the Fire TV Stick and the Fire TV Stick 4K only comes with 8 gigs of storage. Take away the OS and some pre-installed apps, and you're now down to a little over 5 gigs. Now most of us will download a lot more apps like Netflix, Disney+, HBO, and so on, and before you know it, you're under 1 gig. That's when you start to notice that your device is not running smooth anymore, it takes longer to open an app, or even moving from one screen to another takes longer. Most of us would rather keep all the apps that we have instead of uninstalling them. So I will show you another way on how to gain back about 500 megs just by disabling one pre-installed app. Now, as you may have noticed on your screen, I've been showing you a lot of different beautiful pictures. Those pictures are from the screensaver that is enabled by default on your Fire Stick. And yes, the pictures look great, but at the same time, by having it enabled, it will consume about 200 megs just by being enabled. So let's go in our settings now and I'll show you how to disable the screensaver and also show you why you should. Now before you guys start timing me to see if I can do this in under a minute, let's go into our settings first. Let's check something out. So we're going to go over to Applications. Manage install Applications. And on the right side you will see I got 830 megs available out of the 5.34, which is not a lot. And the more I'm going to be using it, the slower my device is going to get. Now in here, we're going to click on it. And we're going to scroll down to find screensaver. Yes, I do have a lot of apps installed. Some of them probably could be uninstalled. Now you can see in here, the cache size is 381. Which is a lot for just an app. So let's go back in the home screen. Bring up the timer. And let's see if I can do this in under a minute. I'm not going to go too fast. All right. So we're going to go to settings. And here we scroll down to display and sounds. Select it. Click on screensaver. And in here we're going to go to start time. And go down where it says never. Select that. Let's go back out twice. Go next to applications. Manage install applications. Scroll down. Click on screensaver, click on four stop, click on clear cache, and then click on clear data and confirm clear data. And that's it. 36, 37 seconds. Not too bad. All right. Now, if we go back, we're already up to 1.8, almost 1.20. That's a big gain just by disabling the screensaver. Now, at the same time, if you're using your Fire Stick daily, I would recommend making this a habit, coming in here once a week at least, and going through your apps, and checking the cache size. Anything that you see in the megabytes, I would rec recommend clearing the cache for that. If you can just go down, clear cache. Now make sure you clear the cache only, not the data. If you do clear the data, that's like kind of like resetting the app is like you first downloaded it. So all the information is going to be erased and you're going to have to redo it again from the beginning. I'm not going to go through all of them. I don't see anything else that's big. All right, let's do this one too. All right, we'll leave it like that. Now you can see we're at 1.25 just by clearing the cache didn't even uninstall any apps or nothing now if you do have apps that you don't use like i said i recommend uninstalling any uh, used apps that you have and also at the same time if we go back out a good thing to do is come under my fire tv once a week and click on restart just restarting your fire stick will refresh everything i would recommend doing this restarting from the app in here instead of unplugging it there's no need to unplug it from the wall and that's will help a lot you will notice your fire stick will run a lot smoother
Now, one last thing. Let's go back into settings. This is why, when I said in the beginning, why I recommend disabling it. So we're going to go back to applications just to make sure. Go down to screensaver. As you can see, everything's zero. Cache is zero, data is zero, and the application is 1850. All right, let's go back. Let's go enable it right now. I'm going to click on screensaver and click on start time. Select any time, 5, 10, 15, doesn't matter. All right, I'm going to go back. Back to applications. And as you can see, we're not using it at all. And the space already went down from 1.25 to 110. And now if we click on here, let's scroll down and find screensaver again. It hasn't even ran, and we're up to 323 megs for the cache size. Data is at 740, and that will only go back up as soon as we start using it. So if the screensaver runs one more time, you will notice that number goes back up. So this is my personal opinion. I think it's worth disabling it. It's better to have more space than seeing a couple of pretty pictures. But like I said, that's my opinion. So what do you guys think? Do you guys have your screen table enabled? You have it disabled? Will you disable it after you watch this video? I would like to know. Leave it on the comment section below. What your opinion is? All right. Well, I think that should do it. If you guys have any questions, leave it in the comment section below, and I will answer everybody's question as soon as possible. If you like my video, please give me a thumbs up. It does let YouTube know you like what I do here, and it does help my channel grow. Also, click on subscribe, and don't forget to click on the little bell icon to get notified of any new videos that I upload. Thanks for watching. This is DJ. Till next time.